Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can add 3D animated Spider-Man character to our live footage in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video so here we are in after effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel further right click on this project panel import selective footage or else you can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel so now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so this video length is of 20 seconds so i will trim this out so i will trim this out by 10 seconds so be on this 10th second frame press n on the keyboard to select the end frame right click and trim come to work area so here i want to add a 3d animated character of spider-man in this field so in order to add a 3d characters in a footage where there is a camera movement first we need to track that camera so let's do that so select the footage beyond the first frame come to this window and enable this tracker options so now being selected this footage layer click on this track camera so it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done so here you can see our tracking is done and we got some track points here so let me increase this track point size so that it is visible clearly so here you can see we got this track points so now i want to place a 3d character here so i will select a track point one here hold shift key and select a track point here and let me select another track point here okay so now right click and select this create solid end camera so here you can see we got a track solid created here so if I play this now, you can see this track solid will be staying in its position. So if you want to adjust the rotation and everything, you can do that. Simply select this track solid, press R on the keyboard and here you can adjust the rotation and alignment as per the perspective of the video. Okay. So now it is staying in its position. You can see though the camera is rotating or panning around the track solid is also following the camera movement nice so once the tracking is done now let's create a solid layer for Irmel 3d so for that go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this as element and hit ok so now come to this window options and enable effects and presets so come to this effects and presets and look for element so element 3d is a third party plugin we need to download it separate and install so select this element and drop it onto this element layer so now click on this scene setup so here you can see we got a new window open to work in element 3d so element 3d supports only dot obj files or obj sequence okay so if you want to import a character that is having animation we need to convert that animation into obj sequence and by the way if you don't know how to convert that animation into obj sequence you can check out a tutorial link in the description or else click on the i cut above okay so here i got a spider-man character with the animation already converted into obj sequence so now i will import that one so if you are importing a character that doesn't have animation you can directly click on this import button and import that object file but if you are using or if you want to import 3d sequence we need to go to this file option import select this 3d sequence so here you can see i got this obj sequence here so select this first file and click on this open button alignment let it be from bottom and hit ok and click on this normalize size option so here you can see we got our spider-man character and this is having the animation frame offset you can see our character got animation here okay so let me change this to zero fine so i will create a ground plane also so let me select this plane and let me increase the scale size to 25 and 25 fine so i will leave a link in the description for this spider-man model to download so after downloading you will get a texture folder so i will show you how to apply texture now so expand this one select this spider-man material which is currently in set to none okay select this material click on this diffuse so once you download this file you will get this source and texture folder so click on this textures folder and select this texture and open so now you can see we got texture on the spider-man so if you want to increase the brightness you can do that okay so i will increase this to 30 and hit okay nice 
so now let me select this plane and physical let me apply this matte shadow option material sorry okay nice so now finally let's change the environment so if you want to add a 3d character into a live footage we need to have a 360 image of that environment so since i don't have 360 image i will be using a screenshot of the footage so let me select that one so click on this environment so this is the screenshot of the same footage which i am using in this tutorial actually we need to have 360 image since i don't have that i will be using the screenshot only and hit ok so on this model you can see the reflections of the environment so then since this is a human character we don't have that much reflections so i will reduce this glossiness here okay thanks fine so we have changed the environment okay so here you can see all these models are in group one okay remember that one now hit okay so now select this element come to this group one in group utilities expand this create group null and click on this create button so here you can see we got a group one null created so select this track solid and select this group one null press p on the keyboard for position values okay so now we need to copy the position values of this track solid to this group one null so select this position value of this track solid select that position go to this edit copy now select this group one null select this position edit and paste so now you can see the position values of both track solid and group one null are same so now we can hide out this group solid sorry track solid okay so if i play this now we can say we got our character staying in that position nice so now we need to adjust the perspective so select this element since it is in group one we will be working on group one come to this particle look rotation and here let me adjust this x rotation so i will change this to i think 25 would be fine okay so this is matching with the perspective of our footage so here if you want to increase the particle size that means the model size we can do that so if i change this to 11 you can see we are getting our model size increased if i reduce you can see it is getting small so choose the size whichever you prefer okay so i leave this to 10 only fine so now let me see this once again so now we got our character properly aligned in the scene okay so but the character is looking a bit dark so now let's add a light in the scene so go to this layer options new select a light and let me select this ambient light here and hit ok so now it is a bit bright so if you want to reduce the brightness you can come to this light options and reduce the intensity so i will change this to 50 or else let me change this to 75 ok nice and finally select this element layer scroll down come to this render settings ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion okay and intensity i will change this to 6 and samples let it be 32 fine so if i play this now you can see we got our spider-man animated character into a live scene here so in this way we can add any animated characters into our live footage using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new Please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.